hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel this is me once again and i'm back with another video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to calculate your cgpa for a 5.0 grading system in nigeria university in the simplest way that i can the full meaning of cgpa is cumulative grade point average which means the accumulation of gpas gpas are the grade point average you get for each semester i'm going to be explaining some things because there are some people that are asking me that what are the courses they are supposed to do as a fresher there is no general course for freshers in the university so this was me editing and i discovered that there are still some things that i want to explain so i'm not trying to say that we don't have general courses in the university as a fresher we have courses that everybody as a fresher will be offering together we also have courses that are general for faculty almost all nigerian universities have general courses for all their freshers so don't get me wrong we have general courses but i'm just trying to say that all the courses are not general courses that everybody is doing together we have your departmental courses that you also be doing you have borrowed courses that's why the handbook is very very important because everything is inside i can't start listing all the courses that i'm meant to do as a fresher for every department in the university but there's something that i want to tell you guys okay every university in nigeria that i have seen they always have a student handbook i talked about this in my last video but i've been talking about it again in this video this student handbook contains all the information you need to know about the department make sure you collect it in your other level in your school so all the courses you are meant to be doing is inside and for every course that you'll be writing for every semester there's always an appointed unit so without further ado let's get straight into the board to start the cdp calculation we're calculating for first semester now we are assuming a particular person's results for first semester so you must have seen your results before you can calculate your cdp like I said, there's always a unit attached to each course you are doing. So we have unit, net, score, grade, grade, point. This person is doing BFN 111, 115, 111, 101, Your courses might be lesser than this or more than this. It's in your handbook. There's always units for each course in your handbook. So. We have two units, two units, two units, three units, three units, two units. Those are the units for this particular score. So let's assume that this person has 75 in this course, three again, this one, and this one, three. Any score from 70 and above is A. Any score from, so this one falls under B, so this one is C. We have read that explained. A again. So now there's always a grade point assigned for each grade letter. So this one's our grade letter. A is five points, B is four points, C is three points, A, A, this A is under five points, D is two points, E is one, but there is no E in this part. If you give this one E, E. So we use all the grade. So this one is one. Is we multiply everything by each other. Two times five, ten. 2 times 3, 6. 3 times 5, 15. The person has A in 2 units and 3 units. Now, you see that this one, 2 times 5 is giving us 10. But this one, 5 times 3 is giving us 15. That's why you must do work in a course with higher units. Now, then 2 times 1, 2. We are going to add up everything here and we add up everything here. That's giving us 14. So this person has a total unit of 14 for this semester let's calculate our as 47 this tgpa the total of this one we are going to divide it by this total unit so that's 47 divided by 14 gives us 3.35 3.35 so this is this person gpa for the semester this was me trying to solve for second semester GPA so we can get our CGPA for this session because CGPA is the accumulation of GPAs. So I didn't want to clean the board, so I just changed the course code, changed this equal 102 to 74A, which means the grade point is going to change to 5. And the 6 we change to 15, which would in turn change the 47 to 56, and would be able to get the GPA for this semester and the CGPA for the session. Yeah. 56 over it's still the same unit 14 units 14 units so so now if you want to calculate for the old cgpa this one's a gpa gp this one is also gpa so 
so we add this together 3.35 plus 4 divided by 2 that's going to give us 7.35 divided by 2 which will give us 3.67 so this is the person's CGPA for the whole of 100 level so this is the CGPA and this is going to fall under second class offer when the person had when that particular assumption at A in the 3 years course the CGPA was formally 3.35 and we just changed one three units cost to A and this person GPA for second semester went to four. That's second class upper. The first semester is second class lower. And sometimes I be passing you think that maybe you are doing well. You are not doing well. But you can close your CGPA be like anyways we've come to the end of this video so thanks for watching even though this marker tried to you know disgrace me and embarrass me on this channel but my god that i'm serving the living god did not allow it to happen so we were still able to do something i hope we are able to see it like this video because i bought marker i even brought board like this video and comment say even if you don't have anything to say then i thank you because i try i even had to hire somebody to do my video I hope you are able to learn something. I hope you understand. If you have any questions, you can drop it down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.